Well, we all can't wait for Breeders' Cup 2022 at Keeneland. And what better way to warm up for the magnificent meeting than with a Breeders' Cup hero? William Buett, the champion jockey in the UK, a five-time Breeders' Cup hero. William, just what makes the Breeders' Cup so special? I, I mean, I remember growing up, my father, he, when I was still living in Norway, he, he recorded the Breeders' Cups for me on, on, a, on the tape, tape recorder. And, uh, and I'd watch him. I think the first one I watched was... Um, in Belmont, when uh, Tisna won the classic, wow. I think Fantastic Light won the turf and all those great horses, and that was the first time I'd watched it. And I remember watching it, thinking this is just something extra special, you know. And obviously, it was a hell of a long way from then until my, riding my first winner. But you know, I remember my first time riding at the Breeders' Cup. It was just, just something about it. It's a real buzz about it, and uh, you know, everything they do in America with sport is just excellent. You know, the, the atmosphere and the organizations and, and everything, and it's a real world championships um so look uh yeah it's a you know breeders cups give me fond memories and yeah I'm, i every year you know you you just can't wait for it to come around you're the number one rider for godolphin and godolphin is all about conquering the world effectively showing the world what dubai can do but showing the world what the bloodstock can do and therefore winning away from what we call home in the uk you might call dubai for godolphin but we'd say uk is something special yeah it is absolutely and you know when you go to the breeders cup you're taking on the best of the best, you know, the best in America, the best jockeys, best trainers, you know, the biggest stud farm, biggest owners. So it, it really is a, diff it's a difficult thing to do to, to ship a horse all the way there and, and, and perform, let alone win. And in 2021, you were the best of the best. Three magnificent victories and Yabir has been a great servant and he's a magnificent Breeders' Cup winner. Uh, unbelievable, yeah. What he did last year in the turf was unbelievable, you know. He really showed what he could do there. Um, and it just capped off a great meeting. And Space Blues showed that a bit of speed in the mile is ideal. Yeah, um, I, you know, Space Blues was an unbelievable racehorse. Uh, he really was, you know. To, to, to win grade ones over six furlongs, just extended, extended six furlongs right up to a mile, it, it's a rarity, you know, on slow ground, fast ground and everything in between. So, um, you know, that was obviously his last run in, in the mile last year. And to get that right with him was, was very important. And, um, you know, it's great for him to show at the, at the Breeders' Cup, how good he actually was. You've got one horse this time around that you, you know you're sitting on, barring the accidents and all that kind of thing that you're looking forward to. Well, hopefully, Modern Games will, will turn up in the mile. I think he's, you know, he knows, he knows, uh, he knows American racing. He goes well around two turns. Uh, obviously, won the, won the, won the Woodbine Mile. And uh, obviously, you know, he won the Juvenile Turf last year. So um, I think if, if he turns up, he, he's the one I'm looking forward to. Oh, we can't wait to see William Buick there. The Breeders' Cup is the World Thoroughbred Championships as he goes off to try and win another Group 1 in the UK. I'm just going to leave you with the message. Come to Keeneland. Enjoy the Breeders' Cup.